Okay, so here we've got Ginny, and Ginny is due to farrow in about three to four weeks' time. So she needs an injection now for worms, mange, and mites. I'm going to give her an intramuscular injection into her neck. I've got her used to being messed around with so that she won't find it such a shock when I inject her. I know that Ginny doesn't like injecting and I know that she's going to run, so I'm using a slap shot injector and we'll see how it goes. So first of all, I've got to find the right site. It has to be behind her ear. And we do it at right angles to the pig so that the needle is parallel if the pig had got her head um, up, parallel to the ground. And the reason why we do that is because if we put the needle in at an angle, it wouldn't go through the fat layer. It would stay in the fat and not go into the muscle. That's the reason why we also need to use quite long needles to get through that fat layer in the neck. So I found this nice bit of muscly bit here, not too low so it goes into anything down here, saliva glands and that sort of thing, and not too high so that it's near the spine. But there's an obvious area here which is nice and you think, yeah, that's good for injecting. So I've prepared my slap shot earlier and it's actually ready to do the injection. So I will come up to her, pat her, and then on one of the pats I will actually put the needle in and do the injection and you'll see that she may well run, so I may well have to go with her. Okay, so now I'm ready to inject. I've got my slap shot in my hand. Make sure that you keep the cap of the, to put back on the needle afterwards. Just to check that I know where that site is. And I'm going to pop the needle in. <coughs> and she will hopefully allow me to inject what I need to into her. And then I'm just going to leave it just slightly to allow the liquid to go in, then pull it out and off she's gone. And then I'll just replace the cap and she's done and she's back for the rest of her food now. Okay, I'm now going to inject pirate my entire bore and I'm just going to do the process from start to finish without really saying anything, just so that you can see how easy it is. The only difference with an entire boar is of course that he's got, and he's a mature um, older boar, is that he's got his um, armour plating on the front. So you just need to make sure on the neck that you avoid that, but it's mostly around the shoulder area so it shouldn't cause a problem. Okay, we'll just inject him then. Again, I'm just pausing, because actually pausing means that the liquid has time to disperse and it doesn't actually come shooting out the hole. He's turning round, I'm going to turn with him, I'm going to pull the needle out and then I'm just going to rub it a little bit to help it disperse. And that's it, done. <laughs>